Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more Destiny Child. Now before I actually get into the little small guide, geez, we're actually <laughs> missing a lot of the uh, features that we've probably seen inside of the Korean or Japanese version, like quite a few. Most of them are inside of Night World, like uh, the springs aren't here. Uh, the actual general store is not here, too. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the whole gear rerolling on like certain stance is not here either. Not, not yet, at least. So yeah, we have quite a few features that are gonna be coming sooner or later. That'll help us uh, progress a lot easier. But considering that most of the story is not here and seems the max story is at chapter six we can't go into expert yet just because they're still expanding on that one i guess which is unfortunate but yeah it seems like that's gonna stop us there as for me i'm inside of um area two because that's where i love that's why i last stopped off on stream and I have a lot of Onyx right now. So, now then, let's get into a little bit of a small guide to help some of the new players out. But first, we're gonna explain the mechanics. So basically, you have your tap skills and your sliding skills. This is basically your auto attack. This is just gonna be going off like regularly. You don't control it at all just automatically attacks. This is your tap. So if you just tap down on the skill, when it's done fully charging up around the circle, you know, the little circle that goes around and, you know, completes, then your character blows up. Yeah, if you tap instead, it will use this skill. If you slide up, like if you're playing Brave Frontier, it will use this skill. This skill is the little button that pops up below your characters once you fill up the 100 bar. And this is just your leader skill, which you can change at any time by just picking this and going to somebody else. I still don't understand what agility is, at least yet. I'm guessing that's dodge rate. I guess that would end up being dodge rate, would it? I don't know, I prefer to leave it on this since she um, lowers attack on all more of a universal skill. I somehow ended up with a nearly full light team. I don't know how. It was like a passive moment, I guess. <laughs> but, okay. I'm gonna go into a battle here and basically show you guys um, everything in like a more easier way to understand. The reason I have low gold is because just because I left the game on auto along with the auto drive, which caused a 2,000 goad. Alright, y'all, really? That's the pausing you want to do? But as you can see, as they get hit, they charge more. Oh, okay, auto's on. Go away. So I'm going to stop the gameplay with this. So as you can see, I slide up. I'm holding it and it pauses the game so I can read the skill. I can bring it back down at any time and it turns into a tap. Instead, if I... Oh, well, it usually turns into a tap. I guess not. Maybe I'd end up double clicking or something. But yeah, any character has like different skills. You can see how much damage is going to do with all the team's buffs and everything. Because as you guys saw, it was like 900 something for Dana's skill. But now Dana's skill is like a thousand damage instead. So yeah, you can even see how much damage it's gonna do with buffs on, which is pretty nice. And as you can see, this bar is charging every time we use a tap skill or a charging skill. It goes on by one if they auto attack as well. And if they get hit. And these are the little special skills that I was talking about. So now I can use one of these skills. I gotta 
time it perfectly. And then they use their drive skill. So your drive skill is based on how full this little bar here is. Now if you're wondering what fever is, let me just do this before they die. Now if you're wondering what fever is, is basically basically anytime you use the, like the little special skill that pops up below them. Anytime you use that, when you hit on perfect, it gives you it gives you 40%. If you hit good, it gives you 30%. If you hit lower, then it gives you 20 or so. So, yeah. The more you do it, the better. Let's see if I can actually get it. I normally use this character to wipe out things. You got a perfect. So that means the next good or perfect I get, I go into fever mode. I'm pretty sure I do get fever mode in this pretty often, maybe. But I would have to wait it off a little bit and not try and um and not try and kill. I would definitely have to take more of a waiting standpoint. And now we're going through perfect. I've got maximum fever, and this is where you click any character that has the highest damage or element advantage to these characters. You just spam it, and then it's dead. You can either spam it or hold it. I recommend holding it just because it, it's tedious as hell to spam. <laughs> just, just saying. And it's better to just, just hold it too because it's like a lot faster in DPS. So pretty straightforward, easy combat, nothing like extremely difficult. Pretty much get the little bit of the basics. Alright, so now when it comes to awakening characters and making them stronger, awakening is definitely recommended for like characters you plan on bringing in game. Or if you're in a predicament where you feel like you are really low on Ox, well Onyx, because I've been in a situation where I'm low on Onyx. Um, I've just maxed Dana and um, Mods. So Dana and Mods are going to be my main characters I start Awakening. Because I'm going to be bringing them to Endgame. Uh, speaking of which. So this is what happens when you um, boost the stats of the characters. You can acquire new... Um, let's see, what was it? Awaken scenario, which you will just get to connect with the characters, see how their personalities are, you know, see their voices and everything. Well, hear their voices, see their voices. <laughs> you hear their voices in it, everything. And the more you um, actually unlock, the more voice packs you actually get. So you can go back and listen it, listen to it in the archive, I believe. I think it's an archive. Yeah, you're, you can replay their Awakening story inside of Archive, or you can go to the replay bar. If I remember correctly. Okay, no, I, I, I remember. You would just click on a character and go down to Dialogue. There we go. And now you can hear their voice acting. Along with subtitles, so you can understand what they're saying. So, yeah. Their inner voices. I, I have a feeling that's going to be all types of wrong. Because <laughs> some of these characters are pretty interesting. Freaking Mona. Anywho. Yeah, pretty straightforward. And they also get a stat boost as well. So Awakening is definitely not a waste of time because it makes them way stronger, way tankier. Um, as you can see, our scores jump up pretty freaking high. Like, pretty damn high. Especially in damage, jumps up from like, nearly a hundred. Yeah, around like a hundred. 
it may look like it jumps up 200, but it, it doesn't. It jumps up like around 100. So Awakening is definitely the better thing to do. And I guarantee it. They can't level up will Awaken past uh, a certain level too. So to be like S rank, they have to be level 50. And there are some slimes that help with that, which you can come into... Where is it? The Scarlet Shop, Scarlet Collection. And Bridget will help you out. You would go to the Growth tab, and these three slimes give max level. Yep, just max level. It just it just really depends on um, the star actually. This gives five stars max level. This gives four stars, six stars max level. Pretty much the basics of how that works. But these are with blood gems, which you can earn from just uh, doing your dailies or from purchasing stuff in the game, which the purchase packs aren't really all that amazing, unfortunately. Okay, and the game has frozen. Oh, it's loading. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think their purchase packs are really too worth it. I mean, this was actually pretty nice. Um, when you're first starting off, I recommend you save your crystals into your level um, 25 because I would prefer you guys put your crystals into your level. Because once you're level 25, you're allowed to go into higher points of the dungeons. So I believe this one is level 12, this one's level 20 or so, and this was level 25. Definitely highly recommend getting to 25 as fast as possible so you guys can do the harder dungeons. And it's actually pretty easy to do harder dungeons in this game if you have the right team and are actually paying attention to the game. So I'm going to run this one. Let's see what's up. Alright, so what are the rules for this actually? Sometimes they do have like different rules that make it unfair for you. Like, yay, they can't be frozen stone stats like this. Or the enemies get like a buff versus you. So, yeah. <laughs> Definitely hurts. But you can also come and buy these little things. Also, auto drive basically just uses any random drive at auto. And this is basically just for like repeating the quest. Because if you don't have this on, they won't use their like little special button that pops up below them. So yeah, they won't use their drive at all if this is not on. So it's just going to be sitting there. I wouldn't recommend this because you're going to be losing way more gold than anything. Because I had 300 gold, well 3000 gold last night. And this is what happened. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend leaving this on or any of these on. Unless you have like a crap ton of gold. But yeah, you can turn these on just to have like some extra buffs, especially if it's in like a really, really hard dungeon. It was probably best to have those on. <laughs> oh God, hiccup, stop it. So just to show you guys that you can actually pass this with like a weaker team, because my team is um 15 power. And I have a pretty decent setup for myself. For me, I went with a tank, a uh, healer, a debuffer, and two DPSs. That's just how I personally prefer my um, team. And it's been working out through the whole game. I haven't really lost anything yet. Not yet, at least. Doesn't mean it can't happen. Especially when I use their epic skill here. Ah, I tried to get it. Now somebody probably could be dying. Oh no, we're good. That's a shock. Ah, I missed it. Actually, I think if you push, if you get it on good, it's 20%. And if you get it on, um... Oh, somebody did die. Because she's up. 
Interesting. I didn't notice that. Well, yeah, she's not built anyway, so that's why she died. But it's better to save those um, defensive skills. Just because you can get in like a really sticky situation, especially for uh, certain skills. Just making sure to keep an eye on the enemy's um, drive bar. Because those drive skills can really do some damage, for sure. And it hurts. So yeah, as you guys saw. Pretty, pretty easy. I just don't want to go too much into it because I, I feel like I could probably make it... 25 today. Oh, yeah, it's 27. Jeez. Versus my power level, which is right here. So, yeah, with the right team, you can definitely beat those dungeons. Um, the Actually, the 37 is actually going to be quite the challenge and quite interesting. I can't wait for that one. <laughs> um, excavation. Always do these. Especially with characters you don't plan on using for a while. Just because they also gain level. Uh, I personally like to put them on here. And have them do the highest amount of time. And if you need one to have, like, way easier time, hmm. Let's say just put this on an hour. You can do that. Just in case you're one of those people who want to quickly finish a daily quest or something. And get those out of the way. That is an easy way to do this. Also, do your Devil Fiesta, Fiesta, whichever one. Do all of them for a free 5 star. It's funny because in the Korean version, it was um, Sunny here. Where is she? Yeah, in the Korean version, you would get this character at the end of it, which is unfortunate that we don't because she has like a really good charging skill. I could definitely recommend her. But, we don't, unfortunately. But anywho, I would definitely say um, do this because it will help you so much. It gives a lot of good rewards that you will definitely need to expand with. And it seems like we only have 12 days to finish it. So yeah, as soon as you get into the game, start on these. The very first thing, don't worry about the daily quests. This is the thing you need to finish first. Like, look how many crystals you get just from this. Another thing when it comes to summoning, I, I personally would say save for like an actual featured banner instead of just throwing your crystals at. But to each its own, if you're actually in need of a DPS or a healer or a certain like role, then go for it. Other than that, if you're set on pretty much each role that you want, then just save for like an actual featured banner. It definitely will help you. That's just me and my own approach to practice. You guys can do whatever you want. <laughs> As for items, if you have a lot of junk items, I would say put them into other items. Let's say I have this here. Well, hold on. Is there a better one? Ah, there's this this with one stat. Yeah, there's there's two stats. All right, so this one, for example, just come here and put those in there. You will get these if you auto farm for sure, because I auto farm at night just to get my levels up. Then I come in here and do this. But if you want to, you can also come in here and sell pretty much all those. Uh, let's see how much gold I'll get for this haul. Because last night farm was pretty um, heavy on my gold since I, left, since I left auto drive on. As you can see, you're not getting too much from it and you can only give up to 30. So this is kind of why I recommend you put it into the uh, actual items because you get more out of it. 
If anything, when it comes to Go, just go to Go Dungeon. Go Dungeon is a little bit different from what I can say. Um, you get a gold multiplier at the end of your run, which I'm going to show you guys now. Come on. Hit her more. There we go. Now we're healing the whole team behind that shield. This is actually my first time fighting this um, level go. As you can see, shields do help in this game because that just pretty much eats damage of ults. And Dana, she just, she just is like really good for eating damage. Because their shields are like really strong. Mott is good for a healing behind the shield. But uh, at the moment, for some reason, this this mod has um well our mod inside the global version has remove freeze instead of remove um stun. Okay. And the game lagged and I missed out on that. So if you hit bad, you only get like 18%. Unfortunately we got hit with some bad luck there. Oh, she's actually still alive, but I like a slither of HP. <laughs> but that lag did, like, hinder us a little bit off that. We, we nearly almost died because of that crap. Jeez. Once we kill her, we don't have anything else to worry about. And once the enemies start to get less and less characters, because that's the thing, the most... Most of the time, you want to kill as many enemies as you can on this. Because the less they have, the less this bar will go up. Yeah, the slower it'll go up, is what I should be saying. So in a 1v1 situation, they have a less likely chance of getting their bar full. Alright, so here comes the gold multiplier. Let's see what we get. He has a rare chance of going up above one. Like, extremely rare. So, yeah. Make sure to do your daily zoo. Your daily zoo give you a little bit. But I recommend doing a Fiesta first. Then, your dailies. Which is Lisa's task, right? Yeah. At least try and get the dailies here. So when you're first starting out, it'll only be like, hey, do these four missions just to get this. Then later on, it starts to go up more and more as you start to level. Like right now, it's five for me since I started to level just a little bit more. But it's actually quite easy to earn the task in the blood gym. So that's actually pretty nice. Also, there's a little bit of a bug with the whole um, friendship system, which is odd. Um, for some reason, I have to restart the game just to see if anybody has sent me like a friend request. Because last night on the stream, I gave everybody my friend requests, and I was just sitting here like, wait, there's like 18 people in here. What's going on? Nobody sent me a friend request. I restarted my game last night and I had a whole bunch of requests down the lit down like the far list and I was just sitting here like, wait, wh what just happened? I even had this this random thing happen with me and Mike. Mike said he sent me a friend request. I'm sitting here like, wait, what? You're not on my friend list. Or did I ever see one? It was just like this. Then I he sent me his friend code so I can add him and 
then it went into like <laughs> then it pretty much evolved into it saying you are already friends with this player then it automatically added him and i'm sitting here like wait what what just happened the game basically ch covered its tracks okay it was basically like I, I didn't mess up i don't know what you're talking about if you're looking for your account id id to add people it is right here you have to send that to people for them to add you or they will find you on the actual recommended list whichever one so yeah if you guys want to add me off of just that little bit of a glance you can go for it i can use some more people to help me especially since i'm leveling right now yeah make sure to add me do it but uh, yeah i'm kind of sad that we're missing the general store if anything versus all the other features the general store definitely has some good items that would generally help me out sometime that that totally wasn't a pun i swear also, if you're looking for your tickets, like anything like that, I know some players will probably be confused of where their tickets have gone. Like if you get like a random ticket from a quest, they are in the item store under this tab right here. View all your summoning tickets. They are all in here. Just making sure people know that. And another thing that every player should do, always do every dungeon three times inside of uh, the event dungeon even if you don't have like a dark unit that you're fond of still do it because you never know when you can get like a really good dark unit and plus you definitely need to do level up material because it gives like a lot of level to it which i'll show you guys how much it gives it gives like a really really decent amount it gives you Pretty good at count level two as well. The way she just leaned back. I'm just sitting here like, what the hell is wrong with my uh, data, man? Data didn't even get any time to get her shield. Unfortunately, but we should be good. Well, so I thought. Apparently, we don't have our shield right now. Jeez. I probably should have just saved that. Because we're about to get hit with an ult. That shouldn't hurt us too much. Oh, Moss Hills are down. Uh, but she still has auto regen. We'll be fine. Kind of why I like auto regen versus um, it's the hills. Just because auto regen will still keep going on, and mods last the longest out of anybody I've seen so far. Her last is like 20 seconds of regen. So by the time. Uh, she gets around, it'll disappear. Alright, let's debuff some of you guys. Take down your attack. Sometimes it makes me wish Dana had, like, taunt. Alright, and there we go. I can show you guys how much XP it gives us. Like in story. Hold up. Let me grab this real quick. In story. It, it wouldn't even give you this much. <laughs> in story it would give you like 28 if you're farming inside of the XP boss area. It will give you 17 if you're farming inside of the other standard areas. So, yeah, you would definitely not get like 160 off these. Maybe if you're on hard mode, maybe you'll get a little bit closer. But, yeah. So, yeah, XP Dungeon does give a lot more XP, especially early. 
that wasn't the best showcase though because <laughs> I was thinking to myself wait I thought it was gonna show like way more you guys are probably sitting there like you lied to me oh apparently I'm done with all my tutorial quests okay also it's good to log in like every single day right now because we're getting a thousand crystals a login which is actually pretty nice I don't know if there's a way to show that okay login bonus okay no that's not it do we have a special login bonus? Ah, so you could change what your viewers put up and what the broadcaster puts up. Oh, well, that's pretty neat. But broadcasting isn't working. The broadcast summon, we're going into here. I know some people will be curious about it. It just pretty much broadcasts your summon across the game. So people can click on it and go in and watch you summon. But, unfortunately, this is not working right now. It does not actually send the broadcast out at, at this point. But they'll probably fix it sooner or later. Also, when you get friendship coins, come in here and use them in here. I think this is the only place where you can use friendship coins for, like, summons. You have a chance of getting stamina, crystals, slimes, tickets, stuff like that. Definitely the best place to come in here. You can get Onyx as well. Definitely does help. And Rumble Coins are used for the Rumble Shop inside of uh, PvP. PvP is actually pretty difficult right now, so I definitely recommend getting into it if you're a big PvPer. It's actually really fun. <laughs> But it's, it is actually difficult. They want you to do like 20 victories. And yes, they, they mean victories. Not like, hey, fight this guy. They actually mean victories. Which, not a huge fan of. <laughs> because then some people are just going to be like really strong. So yeah, that's the thing. So remember we're going into the dailies. Um, you only have five tries. If you want a ticket, it costs a hundred, a hundred crystals every five tickets. So yeah, keep that in mind for sure. All right, then we have underground. Underground is pretty much conquest. I'm gonna stick with this for now. If you want to, um, after the first underground you beat. That you want to reset it costs like a thousand crystals just to reset this because underground is actually a really good place to get like gears and material and plus it costs no stamina being in here so i can just go to this first stage start that up and it'll cost no stamina instead it gives me a little bit of stamina for everyone i complete so this is a good place to get a little bit tiny tiny bit of the stamina if you're in desperate need of it so, yeah. I wonder if you can change to a different one if you go into there. This animation every time I hate you go away. Okay, no. You can't change it. Once you pick one, you, you're stuck with it. Until you're done with it or... Until, I guess, the day resets. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the basics guys I'm pretty sure there'll be more professional videos out but you can also change your background if you want to like if you're, if you're not a huge fan of like the whole normal checkered background spice up your background with a little bit of a uh, city lights you know now look at that now my characters in the background of this And now, I can add on some um, effects as well. Let's say I like a little bit of a shiny lights in the background. Or on my character, whichever one. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. To be honest, I haven't really been too much on um, the characters of how they look too. <laughs> I've just been using what I like right now. This one's a little bit over the top though. 
That, that one's a little bit ex extreme. Especially with the whole thunder flashing light and stuff like that. So I prefer this one. <laughs> Make it a strip club. I mean, what? Anywho. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it for that, that little stuff. As for when it comes to evolving, your character does need to be max level. And when you're getting the character to max level, it does require, let's say, let's say I want to evolve a four star. It requires four fodders. So these um, Aurora Hearts are evolution mons, basically. So you put them into the evolution. And that's not the only thing it costs when it, when evolving. You would take like four star characters to evolve the four star, and also you would need this material to get them like to level up too. Well, to evolve up too. So yeah, make sure to farm all of the event dungeons that pop up especially the material dungeon that's why i say do it every day just because it's very important because you guys need to get like the wood diamonds and stuff like that you can also like i guess hands up stuff like that i guess but yeah make sure to do that as for uncapping Uncapping is very useful for duplicates. If you get a duplicate, put it inside the character and, you know, uncap them to where they would go up to like level, I think, yeah, level 52, if she's level 50. Not only that, you can actually increase the skills more if you do put a duplicate in there. So right now, I can't up it until I uncap by one. Then it can go up to rank two and it can block a lot more damage and give me higher defense and stuff like that. So yeah, that is one way to rank up your skills if you guys have been confused about that. Another thing I wanted to say about uh, skills is that for some reason, global version costs onyx for skill ups instead of gold. Because if those of you guys who don't who have never played the Korean version. When I was playing the Korean version, it costs gold. Now all of a sudden it costs onyx for some reason, which I don't really understand for skills. But, <laughs> hey, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know why they changed it to onyx instead of gold. That definitely would have been easier on my resources, but now you have to use onyx a little bit more wiser in this game unfortunately but yeah for now i'm gonna be taking a little bit of a break on awakenings just because i don't want to use like too much i'll probably get these guys to um let's say d plus if anything yeah i'm gonna get them down here and that's pretty much it because i don't plan on building them too much because i probably could get a better character if I don't get a better character by the time I get like a oh, buttload of Onyx, then I'll go into doing that. So if you're not really sure about the character, you know, you're just trying them out, at least get them to D double plus. You can change your costumes. You get new costumes at the end of Awaken. Once you get them to S class, Pretty much they get a secondary Awaken costume, or Alt Awaken. As you can see, she doesn't have the little eye thing on there when she gets there. So yeah, that's just one thing to think about. I think that's it. Yep, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a basic guide, and I will see you guys on the next one. And at this point, Enjoy the game. And to then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view.